Cybermess F here bringing you a Thomas trying to do some nuclear fusion in the morning around the holidays. There's different types of settings that they have. Let's just do the basic classic Atomus game. And um, so let's just explain some of the rules. I'm going to put a plus sign between these two lithiums. They'll combine together. And since there's heliums around it, they'll also combine together. But since this helium here and this hydrogen on the other side are not exactly the same, then they won't combine. And that's pretty much how the game works. We have one, two, three, five in a row. And... Um, yeah, those can be moved around, whatever. And I try to keep things in a somewhat of an order, but sometimes it can get pretty hectic trying to get everything in just the right order. But that's why I put in the bonus of having multiple minuses. I want as many minuses as possible when I'm playing this game. And let's see if we can throw a couple more things in here. And another lithium. There we go. Perfect. So the more you combine, the better it gets. The better and better and better. So let's see if we can throw in some more. We got two lithiums here. Let's move some stuff around and put this oxygen on the other side. Just for fun. Throw those ones. In. Yeah, we're still recording. Throw those ones together. Let's just throw these ones together. And... We'll start another whole setup again to combine some more of them. Um, as soon as you unlock the more minuses, I would definitely go for that if you decide to have some fun playing this game. Um, uh, if I move these around a bit, I could... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So we put the, the beryllium there, and then we can combine, combine, combine. So yeah, the more minuses, the better. When I was doing more pluses... Definitely wasn't as fun, but yeah for minusing you can move around pluses you add them in and there's some other little cool bonuses that they throw in Here and there when you're playing that will help you out Let's See helium If we can get lithium one more time. Nope. So oh well Let's do that again combine these ones Really hope I can get one. Yeah, there we go to move these around Put heliums on each side. Maybe we can get another move of a beryllium, but not today. All right. Let's put helium here. Put a lithium by that. Let's just double it up. Maybe I can get another. Nope. Just going to combine all of these. That worked out well. Perfect. And then we got those doubling up. So let's might as well make it an oxygen to double up the oxygen to make a fluorine. And we can double up a fluorines as soon as that's ready. So let's get the lithiums and double those up. And uh, I don't really know what we could move around that would help. Oh, we could move the fluorines together. So let's just move that so we can put those and get extra. So, I mean, the more you build these up, if you can put... I could have probably built it up a little bit more, um, but the better it gets. We want some more helium, but oh, there we go. Maybe we can move the beryllium around later. I'm not sure. Oh, there's another one. Ah, good enough. Let's make carbon. All right. So let's put some more there. Let's just put another lithium here. We can double up the helium. And we've made another carbon, so we've doubled up on carbon again. Um, let's just go through there. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Ah, that sucks. That sucks a whole lot. So let's fix that up. There we go. Perfect. And we got sodium right next to neon. And uh, yeah, this is a Thomas. It's definitely addicting. So play at your own risk. Worrying about getting addicted to this game and wasting a ton of time. Because, I mean, it's definitely not a quick game either. You're trying to get as far as possible. Like that 2400 that I had took me a way, way, way long time. And, um, yeah, you can definitely get caught up trying to figure out how this game works. Anyway, I'm Abram SF. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, of course, thank you for watching it, Thomas. Peace!